I want to do an oil skin tarp. So I've been researching professionally made oil skin tarps online. And I found a supplier from Spain who seems to make good product. But also the tarp would cost me more than 200 euros. And I can get the material for much cheaper than that. And it will look more handmade, meaning it will look worse. But it will be more uh, ambientic, more individualistic, I think. Anyway, while researching, I found that the professionally made oil skin doesn't use a mixture of 50% linseed oil and 50% mineral spirits, so isopropanol alcohol as paint thinner, but they make a mixture of oil and wax. I couldn't quite find out how they make this or what ratio oil to wax they're using. So I'm going to try out a few things. First up, I'm melting the uh, leftover wax from making the wax cloth dry back and I'm mixing it with uh, about as much linseed oil and bring it all to temperature so it mixes. Next, I'm adding isopropanol alcohol as uh, paint thinner, about 50-50 to the other two ingredients and because it's so cold the wax immediately begins to solidify again and I have to bring it back to temperature. Eventually though it comes back to temperature all of the ingredients begin to mix and because of the alcohol it even starts boiling so I'm taking it off the heat. And for my first experiment I just dumped a piece of fabric in here. I think this is a cotton bamboo mixture fabric left over from the dry bag. And soak it in the mixture, let it drip off and then hang it up. To let it dry overnight and I find that there's too much of the mixture on here. It feels greasy and it's quite heavy. But after a short mishap, because I didn't quite fold this right, I tested this and it holds water just like pure wax cloth will, basically like a solid container. So uh, on the water tightness this works really well. Water just runs off it. But for my taste, this is too greasy. There's just too much material on here. Also, the mixture has solidified in my workshop. But in my workshop, it's quite cold, so I will be testing how this behaves at room temperature. I need this to work like paint. If I have to go over a whole 3x3 three three meter tarp with my heat gun, I will lose my mind. So this has to work like paint. For now I am trying doing a second test piece and this time I apply the mixture with the heat gun. So it is uh, penetrating deeply enough but I get much thinner coverage. A few minutes later, as this has cooled down, this is now dry enough to be tested. It's still flexible, which I was looking for, compared to wax cloth. It's still a bit greasy, but by far not as bad as in the first test fabric. I'm folding a small funnel here, Let's see if it's still watertight. And yeah, this is as watertight as a solid container, so this will be more than fine for a top. 
or wax cloth for that matter. But I also want to test what effect different mixture ratios of wax to oil have for an effect. So I'm making a 1 to 3 mixture of wax to oil. Once again, heat this up, mix this, and then I apply it with a brush and spread it and infuse the fabric with the help of the heat gun. But hopefully this will thin better and become more like paint when I mix this with the isopropanol alcohol. For now, let's put this on a cloth line and wait for it to dry overnight. Next day. This is now good and dry and I like how it feels in my hand. It's not quite as waxy as the other samples. It's also more flexible. So this already feels nicer for the application I am going for. It still holds water pretty well. But I'm not quite convinced. So I use it to seal the bottle and hold it upside down. This way there's more water pressure on the fabric. And the new mixture is leaking slightly. Just slightly. I think that would still be perfectly servable for top. But if I can find a better mixture why not use it? And comparison test with the 50-50 mixture and that is not even leaking slightly. That is completely waterproof. The problem with the 50-50 mixture is that it is hard to apply thin enough and it's solid even at room temperature. I tried that, but it's just solid. It's almost melting. If I touch it with my hands, it will melt in my hands. So I'm thinking if I can dilute it with more isopropanol alcohol, that should make it both easier to spread thinly and it should help it stay liquid at room temperature. So I'm trying that. I'm trying a mixture of one part of the 50-50 mixture to two parts isopropanol alcohol. Also I found out it mixes easier if you first melt the wax completely and only then mix it with the alcohol. Once that is completely mixed it's almost boiling on the lowest setting my cooker here because alcohol has a very low boiling point especially this one and I played to another test sample and the problem is it's really cold in my workshop so even this new mixture is immediately hardening as soon as it touches the new sample but I will put it in a different container, seal it and put it in a heated room to see if this stays liquid at about 20 C. The sample once again is finished using the heat gun. This should immediately evaporate all of the isopropanol and then I only have to wait it for it to cool down. And once it is cooled down, I compare it with the other 50-50 sample. And this time I've gotten a thinner coat and it's more pliable, just like I wanted. The cup test shows that it's 
still holding water very well. And the upside down bottle test shows that it is not even leaking slightly. So this seems to be really promising. So I will put the sample, I mean the sample mixture in a heated room and hopefully this one will stay liquid at room temperature. But a day later, as you can see, no lock even at 22 degrees Celsius room temperature. This was still solid, though it would melt when I touched it with my hand. So I was thinking, maybe just dilute this further. So once more, I'm mixing this with one part of isopropanol alcohol. So now this is one part oil to one part wax to eight parts isopropanol alcohol, heavily diluted. And once again, heat it up and make a test sample. And what I tried on camera is submerging the whole piece in the mixture to see if uh, that would work. Submerge it completely and then wing it out. But like that I just get too much of the mixture on the surface. So it's very greasy surface and I didn't really like that. Did another sample off camera with the regular method apply a brush and then use a hot air gun to dry it. And I feel that I now have too little oil and wax content. And also, spoiler, at room temperature it's still solid. So I think I can't dilute it any further, it's already too thin. What I originally set out to do, I failed at. This is not a good mixture to coat a whole tarp in, at least not on the scale I'm using. I could come up with an industrial process and machine to coat this, but not on a homemade scale. Though these mixture one part wax, one part oil to four parts isopropanol alcohol, I think it's really good to make smaller oil skin objects like bags or clothes for example. But for my oil skin tarp I'm back to the mixture of 50% oil and 50% isopropanol alcohol again so let's try that again. I'm mixing a bit of brown pigment into the isopropanol alcohol before I put on the oil because I want to test how that looks and it's going into the alcohol because that should mix much easier than in the oil. And it's about zero degrees C in my workshop in the middle of winter, maybe five. And still, the mixture of just oil and isopropanol alcohol is very liquid, very easy to work with. Which is a huge advantage when I will try to make a whole tarp out of it. Also, I can just dunk this, submerge this completely, soak it completely and then wring it out, get rid of any excess oil. Then let it dry and there's not a huge greasy excess on top of the fabric. So I I think this is the way to go. 
this dry for a few days and see how waterproof it is once more. After about three days this still feels oily but it's very cold in my workshop so maybe this just needs more time. And as I had hoped after a few days of keeping this in my office this is almost dry to the touch. And doing the water test once again when I'm not messing up the folding then it holds water pretty well. Water is just repelled by the oil in the cloth. Even with the harder test, I have to shake the bottle a bit for small droplets of water to press through. So yeah, this will be the mixture for my oil cloth top. The rests from all my mixtures I just put together in a, in a pan and melted it again and used it for my oil skin ground cover, which is not quite as big as the top will be. So I thought, yeah, I can manage that with the hot air gun and uh, I was able to. I'll make a video of this next week. But uh, I ran out of mixture halfway through painting this and because I didn't want to use any more isopropanol because the, uh, the fumes are nasty. I mixed just about one part of wax with five parts of oil around that mark. I didn't measure really careful or anything and used that mixture for about half of the top. And what can I say that worked just as well as any of the mixtures that had isopropanol alcohol in them. So just disregard most of my experimentation here. You don't need isopropanol alcohol in any of these wax oil mixtures. It's a good mixture, 50-50 you know, mineral spirits and linseed oil if you're making a tarp, if you're making oil cloth. If you're going for a wax cloth type, you need to apply heat anyway. So don't put any alcohol in there, don't put any mineral spirits in there. It won't do you any good. So yeah, that's all I've got for today. I Hope you learned something along the way of my experiments. Thanks for watching and goodbye.